Edith Harrington of Macon, Missouri was first sworn in as a nurse nearly 80 years ago. I'm still a nurse. You don't ever get through it, but I don't keep up my license now because it don't work as nursing. But, but I do work as nursing because I have some of my friends call and ask me questions all the time. What should I do for this or that? So you never get out of it. She still has her uniform from when she was in the Cadet Nurse Corps in 1945. This was a student uniform and you didn't have a bib. You just had your apron. And then you got your bib and your cap after you'd been in there six months. The pictures, a reminder of a very different time in America. Shampoo was hard to get at that time during the war. Toothpaste. You had to be pretty careful with it. Harrington joined the Cadet Nurse Corps the first year it was available. We got $30 a month, and uh, I was working my way through college, through nursing, and uh, so that came up. See, they were short on RNs, and that's what they had to, this for student nurses to, we just have one uh, RN on the, floors and all the rest of us be students or aides. And the last six months of the program, we slept in barracks. The new nurses helped out wherever the Army needed it. When we got our orders from the Army, we went to Kansas. Once the war was over, she married and moved to Unionville, Missouri, working in the hospital there. And I was the only RN at that hospital and two doctors. And we did surgery and everything before living most of her life in Macon. She started teaching basic nursing and health occupation for 17 years when the vocation building was built. Because they always thought seniors were pretty rough, but they always said Miss Harrington has eyes in the back of her head, so I got along fine with them. <laughs> but now, looking back, those who know the women who served in the U.S. Cadet Nurse Corps say they deserve to be recognized and should have military benefits. Well, when I retired, I went over here to uh, courthouse and asked some serviceman over there and he looked it up in the book and he said no you didn't qualify. I didn't think we did anyway. Our country was in dire need of nurses because so many of them were being sent overseas to take care of the soldiers and stuff and so the hospitals here needed to have nurses to do the work of the soldiers coming back, plus the civilians that were still here. Many of the women who joined at age 18 are now over 90 years old. And I think our country owes them the recognition and maybe just a, a few small benefits to say thank you for a job well done.